One time I met the guy that played Lamont Sanford. I was walking back to my parking garage after a Pistons game. The Pistons got spanked again, and I decided to cut through Grand Circus Park on my way to the people mover. A man was sitting by his lonesome next to the fountain. It wasn't running anymore. He was sitting there sorting through a pile of coins and separating them into quarters, dimes, nickels, and so on. Pennies. The so on would be pennies. Anyways, I walked past the guy and we made incidental eye contact. He could not have cared less about me, but my gaze lingered. I knew I'd seen this man before. So I doubled back and said Lamont. Lamont Sanford. Sanford and Son. All in one motion, he took a deep, frustrated breath, stood up through a handful of so on in my face and shouted that he was a Vietnam veteran. Really carried on about it. The buckshot load of pennies mostly missed me, but one did nick my nose. I could taste blood on my upper lip, and he was still shouting about now. A small crowd was beginning to coalesce. I apologized and took my leave. I guess he'd rather be recognized for his service than for his time playing Red Fox's son on TV, but I could separate the art from the artist. The art didn't scar the tip of my nose with an errant penny. It was the artist.